this is the inspirational success story of Bethany Hamilton. Heaviest moment of my life. Bethany was back on her board four weeks later. When she was coming back to compete, we were all jaw dropped. The moment she paddled out, everybody on the beach was just spelled out. Nobody thought it was possible. God gave me this passion to surf, and it wasn't like that passion had been taken to. How she's been able to adapt and be the powerhouse that she is, I don't know how she does it. She trained her butt off. It takes a lot of strength and willpower to get that one success. The professional American surfer who rides the waves on her surfboard like the ocean queen. As a multi-talented woman, she also uses the power of her words to inspire the world with her life experiences, reigniting the spark of chasing dreams within their hearts. The winner of the 2004 Espy Award for Best Comeback Athlete, the 2005 NSSA National Championships and the 2013 Roxy Pro Gold is also the author of two books about her life, Soul Surfer and Heart of a Soul Surfer. Both books have been New York Times bestsellers. However, Bethany's achievements are hard-earned and have come at the cost of losing a precious limb. A loss that would hamper ordinary individuals from moving forward became a driving force of success for Bethany. Like, people just think like, oh, why could God like let such a horrible thing happen? But for me, it's like, how could God like use me and like make such a beautiful thing happen? And it's just been an incredible journey. And I'm just so excited to see every day that is to come. And every day that has come has shown that He is real and He loves me. Come and ride with us on the waves of Bethany's faith, positivity, dedication, discipline, and resilience that have driven her to become the master of the Azure world. Hamilton was born to Tom and Sherry Hamilton on February 8, 1990. And Bethany was out before us. It's just so cool to see it in her eyes and in her actions that she wants it. She wants to be a part of it and she's taking women surfing to places that women really are just starting to explore. My first session out, I was just kind of getting to know the wave. It's huge and gnarly. The reality of you know, big wave surfing is that you could you know, lose your life doing that. You could drown. Being a part of a surfing family, the love of riding the ocean waves naturally took root in her heart. She was one of those kids who learned to swim before they learned to walk. Since early childhood, young Bethany had a strong faith in God and believed that he loved her dearly. After learning to surf at three, Hamilton began surfing competitively at eight and gained her first sponsorship by age 10. Hamilton was homeschooled from sixth grade through high school by her mother, a housewife, while her father was a waiter at a town cafe. Homeschooling allowed Bethany to dedicate more time to her passion for surfing and honing her skills. Just when Bethany was all set to embark on a journey to become a professional surfer, her life took an unfortunate turn. On October 31st, 2003, 13-year-old Bethany set out to surf Tunnel Beach's shark-infested waters with her friend Alana Blanchard and Blanchard's father and brother. Unaware of the danger lurking in the ocean, which she assumed to be her safe place, Bethany was busy chit-chatting with her friend lying on her stomach on her surfboard, her left arm dangling in the water. Before she could notice, a 14 feet long tiger shark attacked her biting her left arm just beneath her shoulder. Her friend's family quickly rescued her, helping to paddle her back to shore, where Alana's father tried to stop the blood rushing out of her body by applying a compression bandage. By the time they brought her to Wilcox Memorial Hospital, she had lost 60% of her blood. The mental trauma of this girl, who had just entered her teenage years, was another story. Um a shark was a crazy experience um, that I don't really like to talk about much. 
hanging between life and death with the pain of permanently losing her arm, Bethany was undoubtedly scared to death. As a 13-year-old, it is not easy to kiss your dreams goodbye and recover from a near-death experience soon. But Bethany's strong belief in God gave her the courage and patience to overcome her fears and stay calm even in such a miserable situation. Instead, she accepted this situation as an answer to her prayers to God to allow her to achieve something big in life. The news of the attack went viral, and soon the whole world was praying for the young surfer. Although the attack was devastating, Hamilton refused to give up on her dream of becoming a professional surfer. And there's implications in that. There's a ton of risk. It's literally the most beautiful wave to see in person. It's mesmerizing. I didn't know that she had a relationship going. She wanted to get married. But you guys didn't even like hang out that much yet. When she said she wanted to do Jaws, I had no idea what she wanted to do. I served out there two or three times and the place is so scary. Yeah, I don't think she needs to do that. Oh my gosh, when you're in impact zone, you seriously think you're gonna die. All of a sudden, I am an emotional wreck. I just didn't feel ready to be a mom. Within a month after the attack, she returned to the water, surfing with one arm. However, life had taken a 360 degrees turn for her now that she could only rely on one arm. Balance, stability, paddling and maneuverability were more of a challenge now than they had ever been before for the young wave rider. But Bethany always saw the bright side of the picture. She was grateful for another chance that God had given her and was determined to prove her resolve as a gesture of her appreciation for God's kindness. In an interview, she said, I I've just been realizing lately it's like we're, we're called to serve God and, and fear Him at the same time and, and when we do that, um, His presence just takes over our life and He can rock our world and whatever you are and wherever you've come from, like He can use you and, and make your life incredible. <laughs> To inspire many others like her, Bethany published her autobiography in 2004, Soul Surfer, a true story of faith, family, and fighting to get back on the board. Adjusting her techniques to compensate for losing her arm, she continued on the journey of conquering the surfing platform. After winning the national surfing title in 2005, Bethany remained a prominent performer in World Surf League 2008, and so the journey continued. While pursuing a professional career in surfing, Hamilton went on on to inspire the world through her books and leading a happy family life with her husband and two sons. She also appeared in many documentaries and TV shows and urged people to realize their dreams by believing in God and His love. Bethany also found solace in giving back to the community. Friends of Bethany Foundation, her nonprofit organization supporting shark attack survivors and amputees, reflects her commitment to making a difference in the lives of others. Bethany Hamilton's life is the epitome of resilience, determination embracing own differences, inspiring others, and making a difference. What inspired you the most in today's video? Tell us in the comment section. Hit like and subscribe to the channel for the inspirational sagas of the world's top athletes.